Okay, so our last part we want to do now to our triangle Excel. Triangle inequality theorem, top two, and then we start dealing with is it a right triangle? And then we start solving for the hypotenuse where we can put A and B in. So now we are going to, I'm going to copy this and move down a little bit. And I'm going to clear out my formulas. And what I want to do is, I guess I should switch these two. So let me switch these two. I thought news, lay, and then this would be side C, and this would be side B. So what I'm going to do is set this up so that we can solve for given a side and the hypotenuse, we want to be able to solve for the other leg. So if you think about the lesson you just watched, basically what I'm doing is taking the hypotenuse squared, subtracting away the leg I do know, and then square rooting that answer. So let's go ahead and set this up. Equals, and I want the square root, remember we got to like work from the bottom up here, S-Q-R-T, the square root of, I need the hypotenuse squared, shift six, and then I'm going to subtract away, remember we minus from both sides the leg that we do know, and that would then be this box, shift six to the second power, or shift six, not to the sixth power, to the second. And that's it, I'm square rooting that number. So of course it's registering zeros. So uh, let's do one we know, three, four, gives me a five. Z, hang on, three, four, five. So let's put in three and five, and we should get back four, which we did. Another common one is six, eight, ten. So let's put in six and ten, and we should get back eight, and we did. Oh. Uh, Let's go back up here and put a weird one in 12, 14, and we get 18.44. So let's try putting that in down here. It probably will be close, but because of the rounding. So let's, let's put in 12. Hypotenuse, let's put in 8.44. And look at that, we got 14 back. So basically, we're doing the reverse of yesterday, but now you are set up no matter what you get. This is missing the hypotenuse, and this is a missing leg. So no matter what situation you have, whether you don't know the hypotenuse or you don't know one of the legs, you can now just type in your numbers and have it automatically calculate for you. All right, and this kind of wraps up our triangle Excel for now. There may be some additions later, but for now we are good. So your job today is to get your Excel updated so it is a fine-tuned running calculating machine. All right, good luck.